Dr. Emily Queenan left this all behind, boxing up her medical practice in Rochester, New York, to open a clinic in Canada. Yeah, I've long believed that healthcare was a human right. After eight years as a family doctor, she was disillusioned with the U.S. system, which she says is rich in doctors and specialists, equipment and medications, but where patients often pay thousands of dollars out of pocket because private insurance never covers the whole bill. I would see people go without care because they were afraid of the costs. Dr. Queenan and her staff were spending more and more time trying to get reimbursed at the expense of hands-on care. It's part of my practice. And so she moved her family to Penetanguishene, Ontario, a town in desperate need of doctors, where we caught up with her nearly four months later. It did seem that everybody in town knew me before I knew them before I arrived. Her early observations, it's easier to get paid and easier to get patients in Canada to return for follow-up care, because here, money isn't at stake. I love that it doesn't matter whether you're the CEO of the company or the part-time landscaper that you have access of that company. You have access to the same health insurance, the same benefits. On the downside, she's taken aback by the long waits to see a specialist and is now in the midst of a cost-cutting battle between the Ontario government and its doctors. But, you know, despite this tumultuousness, um, there's still this underlying commitment to primary care, to universal health care. So far, Dr. Queenan says she has no regrets trading what she calls the injustices of the American system for the compromises that make up the Canadian one. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.